Nikki, this is Ella, and I am giving you a birthday gift that I hope you really enjoy. Everyone in this video is answering three questions about you. The first is, what has Nikki taught you? The second is, what do you love about her character? And the third is, what quote would you give her at this point in her life? So, happy birthday and enjoy. What has Nikki taught you? What has Nikki taught me? What has Nikki taught me? You really want to know what she's taught me? Mm -hmm. One of the biggest things is get out of your comfort zone, no matter how hard it is, um, and just live. Um, do amazing things. Don't be afraid of any fears or doubts that you have in your mind and um, accomplish them. Just let go of it easily. I guess that answers uh, uh, some, something about um, what Nikki has um, taught me. Nikki has taught me to uh, how to be like a really great friend. Um, I mean, and I think that's like purely by example. I think that she is the epitome of what I think a great friend is, which is to just be there for you whenever you need her, you know, to just talk about anything or just to laugh or just to spend a day napping and eating and talking. Um, I feel like she's taught me that, you know, a safe, like having a safe place with someone doesn't have to be complicated. and. Yeah, I think just to be a great friend in all aspects of work, friend. She's taught me how to say no with grace. And to own that. Yeah. She taught me how to eat healthy. You know, that's one of her key things. She's taught me how much she, she can care about people, which is really good. What has Nikki taught me? She's taught me how to love life. I would say she's like a fairy that just floats around and touches everybody's life in a positive way. She's taught me how much of, or reminded me how powerful it is to really just enter a space and be positive and how much that can transform everybody else around, around you. You know Nikki, I mean, she gathers gathers energy um, around um, people and, um, and, and is equally shaped by that energy. So that's a really nice quality. She's taught me how to be more social and interactive. She's taught me... Live your dream and uh, strive for your dreams because they're attainable. How to have very short-term memory. I mean, she forgets things really quickly after like 30 seconds. Um, I think she's taught me how to take life a little less serious. I'm a pretty serious guy about my business, but I think she's taught me how to kind of relax on that and have fun too. When I was in seventh grade, I took hip hop dance class with Nikki and I was terrible and she was really, really good. And she taught me how to do the body wave. And she said, just make your hands into a box and then put your head through it and then put every other part of your body through it. So many interesting people in this world. And um, I know when she was little, I, I think I encouraged it by, by sending her off to summer camp or sending her off to a dance lesson and saying, meet two new friends today. First day of school, first day of college, first day of a new job. Um, but what she's re-taught me is, is that that was really a good idea. Most of all, she taught me how amazing and how much one person can love another person, especially when it's your own child. And you know, and, and you know, the only time I've really felt pain is when I've seen that something's wrong with Nikki or she's not happy or something like that. But 
you know, that feeling that she's taught me or let me experience of what real love is. You know, I mean, I love my whole family, but, but Nikki really brings it out. What do you love about her character? Uh... About Nikki's character, it's really simple. She's happy. She's a happy person. And, you know, everything about her is for her to be happy and she makes other people happy. I love the way that she's got this track that she knows exactly what she wants. She will do anything she sets her mind to and it takes a lot of courage and a lot of confidence and a lot of just fearlessness and she, she does it. She does amazing things and I'm so proud of her. I love that she loves. And she loves everybody. I love how she just is just so nice and free. I love that she sees the positive in everything, in everybody. She never once thinks that anybody would ever do anything wrong. And I think it's hilarious. A little naive, but still very hilarious and cute. She's so, so talented and such a risk taker. I don't think she knows how much it really makes Grandma feel and how happy Grandma feels. You know, it's, she, my, my mom is 93 years old and, and Nikki is one of the reasons that she has to keep living because she loves talking to Nikki and seeing Nikki. And so the joy she brings to her, it's, it, like I said, it's as much as I say that I feel as a parent, you know, my mom feels, you know, just as much, you know, for how much love that Nikki shows her. I think it's her ability to just attract, like, very positive people and bring them together and make them all feel very comfortable and very welcomed and just, like, embraced for exactly what they are. Um, and she's just so open-minded about like just different lifestyles and different ways of approaching things and different ways of thinking. Um, and I think her character is just that kind of like just genuinely accepting people and embracing who they are. She has a way of really either committing to something and doing it or saying no and making everyone else feel so good at the same time. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's amazing because you can still um, please yourself while setting a boundary and do it in a way that still creates an energy where you can come back to those people. She can light up a room. She is a like, bubble of energy ready to burst. Uh, she can laugh at anything and everything about herself and things that go on around her. Um, she is positive. She's so, like, she's a go-getter. Um, she, whatever she thinks she can do, she does. I love that Nikki is a very, very dedicated person to anything that she puts her mind to, whether it be working out or acting or dancing or even just being a great friend. She 100% puts her soul into everything that she does, and I love that about her. But the, the instant image that comes up is, is that she's like this forest fairy who sort of flits around the forest and then sprinkles um, fairy dust and light and joy into your life and um, and then leaves and comes back again and um, it's just this uh, this sort of joyfulness that I really appreciate that uh, she never leaves here without making us feel so much better than before she left, before she came. How do you know that she loves you? Because she um, she, she hugs me and she takes me to school. I feel lucky that I have Nina. She's my best friend. But, like five collectibles like her mom. Yeah? Oh, yeah? <laughs> what happened in theater is she learned that she could dance her way through the performance instead of walk her way through the performance. So. Uh, somehow she felt emboldened by sort of the real spirit of finding her body and her own natural rhythm and bringing herself out 
in the performance. And I thought, what a beautiful life experience. So that was her most recent metaphor as of Saturday. And so I went to the shelf and I found that I had a book that was called Dance is the Air We Breathe. And I was looking for a quote for Nikki, prompted by her best friend, Ella. <laughs> and uh, I found this one that might be, um, I like it. And so I'm, I'm going to read it. And it's by uh, Jamaica Highwater. And it says, For the Indian, dance is a personal form of prayer. When the eagle dancer puts on his costume, when he begins to dance to the music, he doesn't simply perform it. He actually becomes the eagle itself. The dancer is virtually inseparable from the dance. And I thought that's what happened with Juliet. Nikki allowed herself to fall in love and then to experience a tragedy. And I could really feel it was Nikki at her best on stage. Um, that's really proud of her. I was, I was very proud of her. That I remember, but I don't exactly know who wrote it or, or said it. But I think it was, listen to your mother. You know, but, or you better listen to your mother. One of those quotes. So. Anyway, but I, I don't have a quote from anybody else, but I do have a personal quote. And that is, you, you can't make other people happy unless you're happy. And Nikki has so many quotes on her door, and I don't know, I would just tell Nikki to stay hydrated. For Nikki, I think uh, of the quote where it says, um, success, well, in her case, for Nikki, is uh, doing more for the world than the world does for her. And I think in a lot of ways that kind of is exactly what she's all about, is helping others, doing things for others, being there for others, um, you know, and not expecting anything back. And um, everything that she does get, she works hard for. But uh, definitely anything that means, you know, success in her eyes is, is doing more for others. And uh, she's done it all over the world. And I love her for that. So my quote is from Anise Nin, who is a writer and a poet. And her quote is, Anything I cannot transform into something marvelous, I let go. And why? I think that is consummately like in Nikki, really, in a way, she's so positive and so optimistic. And also, somebody who has the courage, really, to cut things off. Mm -hmm. It's hard to do that. It's really hard to do that. And like I said before, with the way that she enters a room, we can transform it. You know, whatever space she's in and going into, anything that you cannot turn into something marvelous, let go of, it, it just seems it's something that's so within her grasp mm -hmm. and something that she's already doing that the evolution of that would only turn into something much more powerful. I mean, and the writer too, Anise Nin is, look up Anise Nin, look at her other poetry and her other writing because Within that, there's so much. There's so much with, with that woman there. What quote would I tell Nikki right now? I would tell Nikki, at the point that she's at in her life right now, would be a quote from the Buddha that says, the mind is everything, what you think you become. And I think you're at a point in your life where you're trying to figure out who and what you are and what you want to be. And so I think that, um, you can be whatever you want to be, you know, so put your thoughts on that and become an even more awesome human being than you already are. Love. Turtle bug. The really important kind of freedom involves attention and awareness and discipline and effort and being able to truly care about other people and to sacrifice for them over and over in a myriad of petty, little, unsexy ways every day. And that quote is by David Foster Wallace, one of my favorite writers. And I think it, you know, it really 
speaks volumes, especially the, the, the like little petty and sexy ways, um, because I think a lot of people know her or kind of have like an impression of her from her acting. Um, and you know, it was funny, like even my ex had met her at a Starbucks and like asked her to take a picture. And Nikki's that kind of person that was like, oh yeah, I'll totally take a picture of you. She's like, no, with you. And she, and Nikki didn't even remember that. And I remember my ex like, told me about that story. And I was like, that's totally Nikki. And even, I remember this one time I was also, I had stayed the night at her house. And we were about to fall asleep. And she had put in a retainer. And she goes, have I ever shown you my retainer? And I said, no. And then she goes, oh my gosh, I need to show you. So she runs to the bathroom, takes out her retainer, holds it in the light, and puts it in her mouth and comes back to bed and she's like, look, and she's like smiles at me and her, like her retainer's blowing in her mouth, she has like pimple cream all over her face and it was just like, like that's the Nikki that I love, you know, that person that's just like so in love with life and it's so in love with like the little things of just making people smile and, and that's what I love about Nikki and I think that quote is one of my favorites and one I would want to share with her. I mean, this day kind of like took a different kind of route. Like, yeah. It was like, you know, like a good one. Me too. I feel like I'm on my own cooking show. Like, I should be explaining what's going on. Oh, okay. So tell us, Angel, what are you making? Oh. <laughs> Today went really well, I think. I think it was really exciting. Yeah. Oh, wait, do it again. These are awesome. Baby panda in the snow. This is like perfect for her. Aww. It's like perfect. Yeah, okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Let this sing. Happy birthday to you. And from Janet to wave hi. Happy birthday, Nikki! <laughs> happy birthday, Nikki! <laughs> happy birthday, Nikki. <laughs> happy birthday, Nikki. <laughs> okay, say happy birthday. And happy birthday, happy Nikki! Say happy birthday, Nikki! Say love you, Auntie Nikki! Love you, Auntie Nikki! Love you, Auntie Nikki! Give Auntie Nikki a kiss on the phone. <laughs> Mwah. 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 M